Traditionally, cardiologists have reached the heart by going uh, through an incision through the breastbone, but now many doctors and patients are opting for a minimally invasive surgery to lessen pain, to minimize scarring, and to also reduce that recovery time. Yesterday, an East Texas surgeon who has performed about 600 of these minimally invasive surgeries tried something new. He simultaneously replaced two heart valves using this type of surgery. East Texas News Shaley Sanders spoke with this surgeon and his patient. I'm 79 years old tomorrow. Emmett Baker says he's a rancher and works at a prison in Tennessee Colony. Both jobs that require him to be back on his feet pretty quickly, even after having a double valve replacement. Both were leaking severely, which can lead to congestive heart failure. So the only option for him was to replace both the valves. In speaking with him, he wasn't interested in the traditional operation, which is dividing the breastbone. Dr. Neelan Dulop said the traditional surgery would require six to eight weeks of recovery. Time Baker says he needs to spend working, not healing. So instead, Dr. Dulop tried something different. Traditionally, we would do the aortic valve through a small incision here on the front part of the chest and the mitral valve from one on the side. Uh, what we did for uh, Mr. Baker was we did both the operations through a variant of both of those incisions, sort of, uh, you know, cut the distance in half. Doing them both at the same time is a little bit unique. This is my first one. Uh, it's just the 1% that are done uh, through the rib, and a lot of that's due to the way we were trained. None of us were taught to go in between the ribs to do heart surgery. It's just uh, some of us have just developed techniques and learned from others and, and uh, pushed the envelope a little bit uh, in order to accomplish this. And so far, so good. Baker says he's a little sore, but he's already walked around the hospital less than 24 hours after his surgery. So when can he return to his busy schedule? Uh, we should have him home within 24 to 48 hours, barring any complications. And thereafter, within 10 days, I'll let him do whatever he wants. Shaley Sanders, East Texas News. Dr. Dulab says that patients who need valve replacement but do not get them have a life expectancy of anywhere between six months and two years. The doctor says he hopes more surgeons will replace traditional open heart surgery with this method because it's more comfortable for the patient. One cardiologist at the Lewis and Peaches Owen Heart Hospital, well, they're making history, changing the way a heart procedure is traditionally done in the, the state. 78-year-old needed an idiotic valve and mitral valve replacement. The procedure normally takes six to eight weeks to recover, but they cut it down to 10 days. This was never done in the state of Texas. With our procedure, we avoid cracking the breastbone, so we go in between the ribs. And that's what makes the recovery so much quicker and so much easier. Well, I always did want to be the first in something, and here, here I am. So, Mr. Baker, there is a rancher in works in a prison. He says the shorter recovery was important because well, his words here, he needs to get back to work. He may just slow down for a while. In tonight's health alert, Trinity Mother Francis hospitals and clinics make history with the first heart surgery of its kind in the state. A team of surgeons replaced two heart valves through a man's ribs. This procedure is typically done by breaking someone's breastbone. It's amazing. Yeah. Now, we, we do want to warn you, there are actual images from the surgery in this story and some of you may find that graphic. CBS 19's Melissa Daigle joins us from the Lewis and Peaches Owen Hart Hospital and Melissa you actually got to talk to the first patient to ever receive this procedure in Texas which is pretty remarkable. Yes, we sure did. He's actually recovering in the patient room right now. He was a little tired, but we did get to talk to him for a few minutes. He came all the way from Buffalo, Texas, about an hour and a half away for this procedure. He says he is just so grateful for the amazing medical care he's received here in Tyler. Emmett Baker will celebrate his 79th birthday tomorrow. He was suffering from heart valve disease, but now those valves are replaced, and his doctor says he can look forward to many more birthdays. Baker couldn't have asked for a better birthday gift. It was much, much, much better than it would have been. That's because Baker elected to have a much less invasive type of heart surgery. The procedure is so rare, only 1% of doctors perform it worldwide. Dr. Neelan Dulab is one of those doctors, pushing the envelope of medicine. He wasn't interested in the traditional operation, which is dividing the breastbone. Uh, that's a big deal. Once you break a bone, it has to heal. So Dr. Dulab offered Baker a much different approach. We did not go through his breastbone. We uh, made two little incisions in between his ribs and uh, performed the valve replacements. Having said that, his recovery and such will be much easier. Dr. Dulab says this is the first surgery of its kind in Texas. I always did want to be first in something. <laughs> 
it's not just cosmetic, it's getting back to your work and your lifestyle and being able to take care of yourself. And Dr. Dulab says Baker should be fully recovered within the next 10 days. He's hoping this is the first of many of these procedures. Reporting from the Lewis and Peaches Owen Hart Hospital, Melissa Daigle, KYTX CBS 19 News. The difference in recovery oh, time. Yeah. He was the first at something. I like yeah. that. Thanks, <laughs> Melissa. Dr. Dulab says 99% of doctors are trained to perform this surgery by breaking the breastbone. He says he's proud Tyler is the first in Texas to offer this surgery through the rib. It means less bleeding and less risk of infection.